Hey, it's Steve from Allomatics, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to connect your Bosch Solution 2000 or 3000 to the Bosch app. Um, so we will. There's a couple of steps involved. We need to set up an account with uh, the Bosch app. We need to install the Ethernet module inside your Bosch Solution 2000 or 3000. Uh, then download the app, do a bit of programming. Probably takes five minutes, probably a bit less. Uh, and then we're ready to go. So you'll be able to arm and disarm your system from the app and receive push notifications. So let's head over to the bench and uh, get started. Okay, the first thing we need to do is to install the Ethernet module inside the Bosch Solution 2000 or 3000 control panel. I've got the 3000 here. It's just my test rig. I don't have any sensors connected. Um, it's just our, a, a basic thing, just so that there's no clutter inside. In fact, I might even move that battery in a minute. Um, so let's open the Ethernet module. That's it there, the B, uh, what is that? B426M. And this works with the solution 2000 or 3000, as I said. So we get a data lead in there, which we'll use in a sec. There's some screws. I don't think we'll use those. Um, and inside the anti-static packet, there's a, a um, barcode or a QR code, and there's the module itself. So... The module will sit in there somewhere. Now it's got it's got this standoff on uh, underneath, and those screws that I just threw away, um, you know, there's, you, you can see that you'd need to drill three holes in the back of the panel and then screw this in from behind. But if your panel's already mounted on the wall, that's going to be a bit difficult. So I prefer to use these sticky standoffs. Yeah, you can get them at any electronics store, and just push those into the three holes in the base. You could actually drill those out, just open those holes up a bit. They're a little bit small for these uh, for these standoffs, but they'll do the trick. Once they're in, nothing's going to move, so that'll, uh, that'll be fine. So, and that'll just sit in the board there. You can see with the battery, there's not a great deal of room there. Just keep clear of that mounting hole there in case you need to get to it later. Okay, so that's, uh, the module will just stick in there. When I'm finished, obviously I'll um, peel back those sticky backs and then that'll stick nice and securely to the back of the panel. Okay, um, the QR code is how we're going to register our account and register that module to Bosch's cloud. So we'll do that in a minute. Now, we need to connect the module to the panel. So before we do that, we've got to power the panel down. So both battery and mains power need to be disconnected. Just going to pull that AC connector off there. We've done this before, so that's just an, an 18 volt AC connector. We can just pull the um, the power off from there. If the power point for your panel is next to the panel, then you can just turn the power point off. You can see now we've got no pa uh, power on the keypad. So with this lead that um, comes with the module, we connect it to this top. These, these connectors are both in parallel, so they're both the same. But go to the top one. This connector only goes on one way. Clicks in there. The other end of that connector goes onto this white header on the board. Again, it'll only go one way. So, plug that in there. Okay, that's it, module's installed. I've got my ethernet cable here, so the other end of this just goes back to my um, internet router. So it's just a standard internet connection. So I'm gonna plug that into the module now, and that's it, now it is installed. So there's, there's an address switch here, don't worry about that. There's a tamper link there, don't worry about that. Let's just get the thing up and running and uh, we can do any of that sort of fine tuning later, but honestly, you won't need to do anything with those. I'm gonna reconnect power to the panel. So I'm just gonna reconnect that AC connector. We can see the panels come to life. I'll connect the battery. I think we'll leave it in. I was gonna move it out of the way. I only wanted to leave that there just to show you that uh, you've got limited space when you put this module in. Okay. the uh, panel has um, powered up again so now we need to get into the program mode and change some settings in the system. Now we need to go into installer programming mode to make some changes to the system so I'm going to go in with the installer code or the default installer code of 1234 followed by away. I'm in installer programming mode because I've got both the stay and the away indicators flashing. If you don't know your installer code or your master user code go and check out video 101 where I show you how to default and reprogram your Bosch system from scratch. Then you can come back here to um, set up the app. Okay, so the first location we need to change is location 81. So let's jump to location 181. 
uh, sorry, location 81. So um, we go 81 and away. So we've just jumped to location 81. There's currently no setting in there. I need to make that a three. So I enter a three, save it with the stay button, and we can see that threes come up on the screen. Now I need to jump to location 4456. So I go 4456 and away. We've just jumped to location 4456, and we need to enter a four there. So I press four, save it with the stay button, and we're done. Now I can hop out of programming mode by um, entering 960 and away. That's the only programming we need to do uh, for, the, for the system. The next step will be to um, register an account with the RSC Plus app, and then we can get the system on the air and uh, start using the app to arm and disarm our system. Okay, the next thing to do is to download the Bosch RSC Plus app. So go to the Play Store or the Apple Store and just search for Bosch RSC Plus. You can see it's in the top search result there. I've already searched for it. So click on that. It's that top one there, the one with the padlock and the, the blue and the green stuff. So there's lots of Bosch apps, but make sure you download the right one. So it's called Bosch Remote Security Control Plus. I've already installed it, so I don't need to install it again. Once it's downloaded, um, find it on your phone. And there it is there. So open the app. Down the bottom of the screen, it says Create Account. So click on that. Enter your email address. Okay, create a password and the normal stuff, you know, it wants a couple of capitals and some lowercase and some numbers and possibly a special character. It'll tell you whether it's uh, knocked back your, your selection. So just give me a tick to put in a password. Okay, you've got to agree to all the stuff. If you agree to it, do that. And then up the top right hand side, we click register. So we click register, unable to submit. Hmm. Ah, I haven't finished the email address. Okay, that's better. Now we can register. So it's creating an account. Success. Okay, so now we go to, um, you log into your email and click on the link. Okay, finally got, got into my email address. Okay, so you can see there that we've got um, the email from Installer Services at Bosch. So let's click on that link. You can read all the bits and pieces there, but we just need to click on the link, which I've done. Okay, so now we'll just enter the email address and password that we registered with. Answer the security question. What's that? 1914. All right. I think we're getting somewhere. Well, that never lines up properly. Don't know why. Okay, so there's our account. So we're all registered. Um, now we don't need to log out of there. What we can do is just leave that screen and now go back to the Bosch app. and we can log in there. So let's replace that demo with our password. Okay, now we can log in, finally. Okay, so that's what we should see. So where it says no panels found, don't get too concerned about that just yet. What we will do is click that arrow on the right hand side just under the word no panels found we'll add a panel with, by pressing the green tick uh, sorry the green plus at the bottom right hand side of the screen we'll name that so i'm just going to call it um, home so it's my house so this is um, how we'll identify the app if we had more than one uh, panel connected and now that will grab that barcode So we just have to hit that barcode icon, allow it to use the camera. There we go. Okay, so there's the barcode that came with the, the uh, Bosch module. So we'll just scan that and we click add at the top right of the screen. It's adding the panel.
and it looks like we're there. So now I'm just going to highlight that panel. I need to enter the user code for my panel and my user code. So this is not the installer code, this is the master user code or any code that you're using that you've already programmed into your Bosch panel. So I've only got, um, I've defaulted my panel, so my master user code is 2580. So I'll enter 2580, press done. I'm gonna press connect. The first time uh, it connects to the Bosch cloud, it takes a minute or so. So we just have to be patient. Okay, there it is, that didn't take long at all, did it? All right, so now we're, um, we're up and running. We've got the Bosch app connected. So I can arm the system. So I've just hit the arm button. There we go, the system is armed and I can disarm the system. Now the system is disarmed. Okay, let's have a look at the Bosch app now. We'll do a run through on how it works and what it can do for us. So I've just logged into the home screen and you can see that the system's disarmed because the unlock padlock's displayed. Um, and we've got a couple of faults. It's not ready, so we can see why it's not ready. We can hit that button there. It tells me here that the battery is disconnected or there's some problem with the battery and that's because that's I've, I've unplugged the battery on this one uh, and there's an exception on zone one so an exception means there's a problem with that zone typically it means the zone is in the unsealed state zone one on this system is the front door so it's just telling me that the front door is open we've also got the icon um, the lightning icon here with a one in it so we can press that and it tells me the last time the system was armed we had an alarm from we can hit that button there from zone five. So there are events that have occurred in the system. So just a quick snapshot of what's happening in the system. I can go back to security there. Um, we can hit areas. We've only got one area in the system. The 2000 or 3000 can have two separate um, areas. But if I push that uh, information icon now, that's wrong. Let's push the information icon. Um, we can see the status of all our zones. I've only got four zones on the system. Uh, and there's our front door reach, which there, which is faulted. Uh, and everything else is normal. I can just have a look at any zone that's normal by hitting the normal button, and there are all the normal zones. I can hit exceptions. Any zone that's got a fault will come up in that list, and there's the summary list. While I'm in this screen, if I wanted to bypass a zone or isolate a zone for whatever reason, if it was faulty, if I couldn't close the front door, I could bypass the switch by pressing the bypass button there. I could do any zone for whatever reason. Bypass um, zone four. Okay, now the screen's updated to show that zone one and four are bypassed. So really, you don't even have to use the code pad. If you didn't want to, you could do everything from the app. Uh, let's go back now to this menu screen. Um, we've looked at security, that's the home screen. We've looked at events, that tells us the last event that occurred in the system, which was an alarm from zone five. We can now go into history and everything that's occurred in the system, along with the time and date, you see, so this is fantastic for fault finding or if you want to and work out where a problem is with the system. For technicians especially, it's fantastic. So we can see there that anything that occurs in the system is logged. Um, and if I start here, I always like to start where we've armed the system. That's the beginning of it. So we've armed the system with user one. It's turned on with the front door open. So we had a zone one trouble. That means that the front door was open when we turned it on. We've got a low battery on the system, troubles away, we bypassed a couple of zones, we disarm the system. When we've disarmed the system, those bypass zones have become unbypassed. So lots of good useful stuff in there. Um, let's go back to outputs. Now we can add an output board to the solution 2000 or 3000 with some relays on it. So we can control relays to do things like, you know, open the garage door or the front gates you know, maybe turn the sprinklers on, control lights, anything that you can control with the switch can be controlled from these outputs. Uh, let's go back to security and now we'll just arm the system. So here again, I've hit the armed button. We can either arm in away mode, stay mode one or stay mode two. So I'm gonna arm in away mode. So the system's arming, it's going through its exit time. I'm just gonna close the app so that we can see what happens when an alarm is generated. Okay, so there's an alarm from zone five. I've just triggered zone five on the system. So from there, I can just open the phone and it takes me straight to the push notification. So it tells me that it's come from the panel called home. There's the time and date stamp. The message is the alarm from zone five and it's an alarm.
So that's handy. If I wanted to go into the panel and disarm the system or have a look at the history, just log in and that'll take you straight to the home screen. Okay, so there's our home screen and we can see the system's armed. So I can just tip the big red dot and disarm the system. Okay, the system's disarmed. Uh, we'll just have a quick look at those details there. So we've still got the front door open. We've still got the battery uh, fault. So I'm going to close the front door. Okay, if we go back into details now, we've still got our battery problem, but the front door's closed. So uh, yeah, that's it. It's, look, it's a, it's a great app. Um, it can be a little bit slow um, updating when you've armed and disarmed the system, but it's uh, completely free. Once you've got that Ethernet board installed, it's free to use the app, and it's got a lot of really great features. Okay, so that's our run through on the Bosch RSC Plus app. Um, I've used lots of apps for different alarm panels. They've all got their good points and their bad points. Uh, the Bosch RSC uh, Plus app is certainly no different. Uh, on the positive side, it's um, free. Um, the event log is really comprehensive and fantastic, probably one of my favorite features. And the ability to um, isolate zones is also good. On the downside, it can be a bit slow to update if I'm um, changing the status of the panel, it can um, take a minute for the change to be reflected. There, it actually just did it quite quickly then. Um, if I wanted to disarm, uh, now we'll just see how long that takes. But, but I mean, that's not a reason not to use the app. The, I should say, as soon as you hit the button, the arm or disarm button, the panel itself, uh, back at your house or office, will change state straight away. It's just that the, the update on the app can be a little bit slow. It would be great if it had its own unique sound. When a push notification comes through, it just sounds the generic um, Apple notification sound. You can't customize that, you can't change it, and Bosch haven't provided any way to change that to a unique sound. But look, again, not a reason not to use it. Um, it's good features, certainly outweigh its bad features. So I hope you found this, um, uh, this useful, and if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Thanks for watching.